Sharpen. Masters of Surgical Education. This is Samuel George, and this is a video on how to design a bilobed local flap. Now, this is a random pattern local flap and good for areas like the nose for nasal reconstruction. So in order to design a bilobed flap, we first need a defect. Now, the defect, you measure the center of the defect and measure one radius, which is the blue arrow. Now, you extrapolate this one radius to get your pivot point and measure 90 degrees from there into your defect to get the 90 degree axis. You don't need to make some arcs. So the first arc you draw is from the inner edge of your defect at a distance of one radius from the pivot point. The next arc is from the center of your defect. The third arc is from the outer edge of your defect. Now each of these three arcs are one radius apart and the third arc is three radius from the center of the pivot point. The next thing you need to do is triangulate your defect and we then need to design our two flaps involved in the bilobed flap. So the first flap, which goes into your defect, is equal to or slightly smaller than the diameter of your defect. So the diameter of the defect here is the red dotted line. And our first flap, which will go into our defect, is the orange dotted line. The second flap, which will go into the orange dotted line will be the yellow dotted line flap and that's our second flap and this is our donor which will close directly. This needs to be half the length or slightly more than half of the orange dotted line. So then we design the arc of the first flap which goes up to the third arc and then the second flap which is our donor which will close directly. We need to design this extra long and you can do this as long as you um, is allowed on the patient so that you can close this directly without a dog ear and then trim off the excess after you transpose this into the first flap position which is the orange dotted line. Now the next thing we do is basically excise this triangle where we triangulated our defect and then move after we undermine the flap move the second flap into the first defect and then the donor flap into the number two defect and then when you're done you will have a scar which looks like this and then you close this with interrupted sutures and that is your pilobed flap sharpen masters of surgical education